guys put your companion back here with another video and in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this cool taped effect in photoshop for your poster or photo that you've made so without further ado let's jump right into it okay so the first thing you guys want to uh, do is go into photoshop and make a new thing so i'll just call this taped Oh, whoops, that was wrong. Taped poster just for the video. Okay, so after you've done that, you guys wanna insert a background. So I have one here. Let's just make it fit to the thing. Okay, there you go. So I picked a wooden dark background just cause I like it like that. And also if, once you do pick your background, Make sure it's not too light because then you wouldn't be able to see the taped effect. So next you guys want to insert your poster or your picture or whatever you have or whatever you're doing. And so here I have the drawing of Neymar I've made and I'm just gonna insert it in there. Uh, okay, so let's just go into blending options real quick. Add a stroke. Uh, I'm gonna put the size at, oh, let's put this at four or five, five. Let's put that at five. And I'm gonna pick white just because you, can, you can't really see the black, it makes it harder. So here I have my white stroke. And now I'm gonna make a new layer. And I'm gonna call this top left, okay. So that's top left. Because now we're gonna go into the top left corner and and just uh, do our first piece of tape. So you're gonna you're gonna want to go onto the polygonal lasso tool. And what we're gonna do now is just kind of make a, a piece of tape, and then we're gonna change it up later to make it look like it. So here, just draw the triangles, and then go down. And you don't want it to be too perfect, because then it wouldn't really look nice that way. I'm just gonna keep on going here. There you go. And once you got that, let's just, okay, so it's already rasterized. Let's go into fill, and you want this to be 50% gray. So, now you guys wanna go onto the dodge tool, and let's put the size, yeah, 16 is good. Or, to be honest, you can just do it whatever you want. And we're just gonna go kind of around the edges right now. You wanna keep the middle untouched. There you go, so it should look kind of like that. Next, you want to go on to the burn tool. We're kind of gonna add a shadowy effect again, just on the edges. There you go, that looks good. So now, so you gotta make sure you have your uh, layer selected and the opacity you're gonna bring it down so let's see here 30 now let's go to 50 mm, let's do really you just want to keep on going until you find what fits okay so I found out that 55 works best for me it really depends on the color of the background so there you go 55 works for me and okay so let's deselect it and right now that kind of looks like a piece of tape so what you could do next is copy this and put it on the rest of the corners or you could keep on remaking it but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to quickly copy each one okay guys so this is how the final uh, effect looks like i really did enjoy making this video i hope you guys I uh, learned a little something from it. If you did enjoy, make sure to snap a like and uh, peace. I'll see you guys in the next